I'm honored to welcome Jane Frazier, Citigroup CEO, here to our snowy set. Good to see you. <laughs> Great to see you as well. But yes, indeed, winter in Davos has arrived ju just as of now. Um, it was beautiful all day. So, so look, we're, we're all talking about the global outlook, which is uncertain and has changed. And, and it feels like depending on where you sit, we're getting different answers. The, the financial companies, to me, have sounded a little more negative about the outlook. Is that is that true? Look, it, it, as you say, it depends where in the world that you're sitting. So different countries are in very different positions. So it's, it's hard to make generalities. I think we are all quite pleased with how the year has started in the sense that we've got um, a warmer, warmer winter in Europe. It doesn't feel it like right now, Sarah, yeah. but um, a warmer weather in Europe. We've also had China, which has opened up quite dramatically with a human cost to it, but nonetheless that should omen well for some stronger growth there, together with more market-friendly moves that they've made recently. And, you know, the U.S. economy um, performing reasonably strongly. So I think all in all, um, it, the year has started off better than everyone expected. There's a but. But what comes next? What comes next? Yeah. And, you know, it's, sometimes it's very easy at the beginning of the year with that flurry of activity to mistake that. So different parts of the world, different, different dynamics going on. I think you characterized it on earnings last week as a, as a mild recession for the U.S., what you're expecting. Why, um, why are you confident that it's mild with the Federal Reserve still, still tightening? Yeah. I mean, when you look, when you look around um, the context in the States, we are seeing the tail risk either side coming in. So those that were feeling that the economy was going to have a soft landing, this was going to be fine, are a little bit more cautious now. Equally, those that thought that it was going to be a pretty hard landing and very difficult to do also coming in. And I think everyone's converging now in the States more around a mild, manageable recessionary scenario um, driven by the strength that we've got in the labor markets. And as a result, together with um, persistence in inflation for services, you will see a resolute Fed. They were, the, the folks were talking about the, the loans. Everyone, everyone's setting aside reserves for bad loans, all the banks, including you. Um, a, a sharp increase. How do we read that number as far as your expectations for what we're going to see on loans and in credit? I would say don't read too much into it. Um, as we look out to consumer credit in the States, we don't think we'll get back to the pre-COVID levels until the end of 23 in terms of some of the delinquencies and the like. Um, and that was not a, that was not recessionary levels at, the, at them. So this take this will take some time to get there. The consumer has still pretty strong balance sheets. They're dipping into savings, but uh, it, it's um, we're less worried on the credit risk side. Just um, the vulnerabilities you normally expect heading into slower economic growth don't exist at the moment. Strong corporate balance sheets, strong consumer balance sheets. And banks in very good health as well. What about consumer spending? What are you seeing on the credit card data? Um, well, it's interesting. We're, we're keeping an eye on where that goes because I think that's going to be the real leading indicator. We're seeing more softness in those with lower FICO scores in the States, but we're seeing, um, you know, we're seeing those who are wanting to spend on travel, on entertainment. Those areas are still strong, whereas jewelry, luxury goods, some of the electronics have really come off quite a bit. So a real difference in the spending patterns and that pivot to services that began last year has really taken hold. And it's still continuing strongly? Pretty strong, yes. Our, our wonderful partner at American Airlines is, uh, and others, we're seeing a lot of growth in, um, in the spend in those sectors year over year. When we spoke